What's up everybody? I'm super excited to announce that my channel has its very first sponsor. And don't worry, I'm not going to let the sponsorship go to my head. I jump into my pants two legs at a time just like everybody else. Here's the water you asked for, Dad. You didn't open it? No. Did you get those pink Starburst unwrapped for me? No, oh, I'm working on that. All right. This is not 38 degrees. Put it back in the fridge and get it right. My goodness. Where was I? Oh yeah, I'm not going to let this sponsorship go to my head. What's up everybody? I'm super excited about today's video because it's brought to you by my very first sponsor to this channel, Oxbeam. Several weeks ago, Oxbeam reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in testing out some of their products on my 1999 Chevy Silverado. So out of curiosity, I went to Oxbeam.com to see what they offered. Oxbeam is a leading manufacturer of LED lights, light bars, headlights, replacement bulbs, LED work lights, fog lights, emergency strobes, lights for motorcycles, and various auto parts and accessories. So Oxbeam sent me their W-Series LED headlights, specifically their 9005 and 9006 models. What that number is in reference to is the actual model of the bulb. These are the halogens that I just pulled out of my truck. The high beam is the 9005 model, and the low beam is the 9006 model. Uh, there's also an HB3 and an HB4 code on the back as well, so you know which one is which when you go to install them. You also know which one is which because the bulbs have a different size. So the low beam is a wider casing and the high beam is a smaller casing. And you'll see in just a minute that these tabs should be lined up with what's in the box. So these bulbs are a direct replacement for the 9005 and the 9006. The 9005 also has the HB3 and H10 code on it, so that fits on those. And the 9006 also replaces the bulb with the HB4 number. All right, at first glance, you can see that this bulb is is massive compared to the one that came out of the truck and the reason why it's so big is because on the back side of this LED bulb you have an integrated cooling fan so it's the Claret Red casing it's got a Cree LED light chip in it it's just a single beam again the cooling fan is integrated into it to keep the light bulb cool it's a 6500 Kelvin light temperature 7000 lumens it's a 70 watt bulb I am curious to see how this is going to fit into the truck because the, the body is so much bigger. So hopefully there's nothing that it's going to bump into. If you looked at the instruction manual, it said there needs to be a 30 to 40 millimeter space behind the cooling fan for proper cooling. What we have in this accessory box are the canvas drivers. Now the canvas drivers are important because the LED bulbs run on a different level of power than a normal halogen bulb. So if you plug in the LED bulb, the dash light might come and say you might have a, a light bulb out. So these are error-free canvas drivers. It's basically telling the computer that you don't have any problem with your light bulb. So that's why they consider that an error-free. You see there's a little tab right there and there's a groove right here. So you just want to line those up. It's got a nice little O-ring right there and then this locking mechanism. You just screw that on and that makes a nice watertight seal to keep moisture out of that connection. All right, so the plug is the same as the light bulb. So this should fit just fine on the truck. And again, you've got a lot of extra wire, you got a big canvas driver, you got a bigger body light bulb. So I'm curious to see how this will all fit in the truck. All right, now it's time to go out and see how easy it is to install these headlamps into my truck. And then we'll do a comparison between the stock headlights and these W Series LED headlights from Oxbeam and see if they're really worth the near $160 price tag. All right, we're going to install these lights. First thing we need to do is pop out the headlamp on this 99 Silverado. Just got to turn these little pins. And just lift right out and it's a little tricky getting the headlamp out around the grill and the fender lift and push that's the high beam lift tab and push here's the low beam we're going to give it a little twist and it pops out and we'll compare the tabs to the new led tabs match as far as that are locations these tabs are a little bit smaller but this should lock in and seal just like the halogen bulb so i pulled out the bulb 9005 and it fits perfectly into the headlamp all right now houston we have a problem this bulb is so big i do not think it's going to fit down in here and that's a problem because this plastic piece is in the way if i can remove this hard plastic piece from the headlamp assembly i might be able to get the light bulb down in here all right so this has kind of turned into a pain in the butt low beam's a problem because this plastic's in the way so we're going to get a six millimeter socket we're going to start removing these little bolts Even if this does fit down underneath this plastic trim, there is that cooling fan that's in the bulb itself. I'm wondering how well this is going to work or cool with it being right behind this plastic piece. Uh, we'll see. A 
Okay, that lifts off with no problem. All right, now let's see if that bolt fits. All right, we've got the 9006, the low beam. We're gonna slide it down in a spot. Give it a twist and it snaps in place. Okay, I'll put this back on. Got my 732nd socket. I'm gonna put all these screws back in. All right, it is a tight fit. That bulb is in there, and that looks like that should be pretty good ventilation for that fan. I don't think it's ideal, but it seems like that'll be good enough. Hope so anyway. All right, we'll put the canvas drivers on, and this puppy's ready to go on the truck. Okay, I need to make sure these tabs and the groove line up. Plug that in, screw it down. Right, that's the low beam side. And then we're just going to tuck these down in here. There seems to be plenty of room down in these little cavities. Just want to make sure that they don't pinch or anything. Okay, that should work. Now, I really had to tuck the wires down because they seem to be getting in the way of the headlamp. All right, we're good now. Okay, let's light these up and see how they compare. Well, that is incredible, but you can definitely see how much more intense the LED light is over the halogen. Man, that LED makes that halogen look weak. You can hear that cooling fan going off in the light bulb. Fantastic. I'm loving the output of the LED. Well, with the LED, you can definitely tell that it's brighter than the halogen with the low beams on, and the beam is actually a lot bigger. The uh, high beams, it appears like the LED is a bit brighter. It's definitely a larger beam pattern, which is good. All right, we've got the LEDs installed, so let's show you the before and after comparison as we take the truck out on the road. My son is about 80 yards from where I'm parked right now, and you can see it's pretty much the end of the light range of the halogens. The aux beam is even lighting the, the trees and the light pole behind my son. I flip on my brights and you can see a much better picture with the aux beam. It's definitely lighting the background more so than the halogen is, so you can see that the beam pattern is huge with the aux beam, and the distance between the two lights is remarkable. Again. You can see that the halogen really is about, it's about as far as it's going to go, about 80 yards. The aux beam, you can see it's even going much further. So you can see that this is a pretty good example of being able to see something out in front of you a little quicker, a little sharper with the aux beam over the halogen. So you might have more time to react when something steps out in the road with the aux beam than with the halogen because you can see much further with the aux beam.
just really impressed with these lights. The output is amazing. I can see so much better with these over the halogens. I can see a booger hanging out of the nose of that moth that just flew by. I just saw a chipmunk on the side of the road hobbling on crutches. I, I never would have saw that with halogen lights. That bug was cross-eyed. I can see that. I mean, these lights are so bright. I can see in the future. One of the things I really like about these lights is just the contrast. I can see the signs really well, the details, the sharpness of the letters that are on the signs. I mean, I'm not getting any younger, so I mean, I, I can see the signs a little bit better. My peripherals are lit really well. Critters like to hop out the road. And there was a rabbit back there, and these lights are so bright I can see what it was thinking. There are no street lights. It gets really dark, and you just never know what's gonna pop out from the woods. I mean, there could be a deer, a raccoon, a possum, a wild turkey, a dog or a cat, a saber-toothed tiger, Sasquatch. I mean, you never know. My wife was driving home late one night and she could have sworn she saw a Sasquatch on the side of the road. Well, it turned out it was the neighbor down the road, Randall, down at his mailbox without a shirt on. One of the things that's pretty quirky about my truck is when you have your high beams on and you go to click back down to the low beams and if you just hold the lever back, the low beams and the high beams will be on at the exact same time so you have a super duper amount of light coming out of the headlights. So if I let go of the lever, it just goes back down to the low beams. It's kind of a neat little quirky thing that this truck can do. Huh, I just saw a mouse riding a motorcycle. All right, well, that is the W Series LED headlight bulbs from Oxbeam. Based on my observations, I'll give you some of my pros and cons about these lights. The biggest pro to these LED lights is obviously the light output. The beam is so much bigger. There's so much more light coming out of that bulb versus the halogens. And one of my favorite things about that bright beam of light is one, the bright white color. It's not that dingy orange from the halogens. It's that bright, crisp, sharp light that comes out of these bulbs. And with that, you get a lot of contrast in the things that you see out in front of you in the road. Well, I'm not getting any younger and my eyesight's not getting any better, and having that contrast really helps me out. So that is a big pro in my book with these LED lights. So was there anything that I disliked about these lights? Well, just a few minor things. And one really isn't so much the light's fault, it's more of the design of my truck. These lights are massive. They're, they're so much bigger than the halogen lights, so you really have to factor in the room behind the headlight assembly for those cooling fans. These bulbs get really hot, and that cooling fan needs room to be able to cool those lights off or else you might have premature failure with the bulb if it overheats. So as you saw with my truck, it's got that hard plastic part of the headlight assembly that you had to remove in order to get the bulb in. There wasn't a whole lot of space behind it. I think it might be good enough for these bulbs time would tell the instructions did say 30 to 40 millimeter distance from the back of the fan for cooling I didn't actually measure it but it seemed like it was okay to me one downside about these bulbs for some people may be the price tag two of these bulbs cost $78 you need four to replace all of your bulbs in your truck that comes to almost $160 so are there enough good things about this light to justify spending $160 I think so especially if you live out in a dark rural area that doesn't have any street lights these bulbs really put out a ton of light and for that reason alone it seems like it's worth the money another thing to consider about the price tag is your eyesight if you are having difficulty seeing at night if you need all the light you can get i would definitely recommend purchasing the w series led headlight from oxby well if you've been considering upgrading to led headlight bulbs but can't quite decide whether or not you want to spend the money for them consider this Oxbeam is offering the Dan Ander viewers 15% off their W Series LED headlight bulbs with coupon code OXW15. Simply click on the link in the description below and it'll take you to the W Series LED light bulbs website page on oxbeam.com. Select the model number you want and at checkout type in OXW15 and get 15% off your order. Special thanks to Oxbeam for reaching out and sending me these headlight bulbs. I'm really pleased with how they turned out on my truck. So again, if you're considering purchasing LED bulbs, give Oxbeam a look and use that coupon code in the link in the description below and save 15% off your order. Well, that'll do it for me in this video. Thanks for watching. God bless. We'll see you next time. Oh yeah, 38 degrees, just the way I like it.